Okay, this video is going to show how to create a an alignment in Geopack. I've already copied over uh, the alignment that I want, um, and we need to. These are all individual lines. So the first thing to do is it needs to be a complex chain. So bear with me with my smaller screen. I'm not quite used to it yet, but. There it is. So we create a complex chain. Should be automatic. Start at the at your beginning point. This doesn't matter uh, where you start from because uh, that's where the stationing will start from uh, with the complex chain. So you select it and it goes down and highlights everything. And you've created a chain. Uh, this is a replacement uh, alignment. So we need to clear out the uh, alignment information that's already there. That way that we're not uh, adding any elements that may be of the same name and confusing the chain when it tries to uh, compile it. So, so we'll go to Kogo. We'll go to the navigator. And we will click on the chain or alignment that we're wanting and take a look at the elements in it. It has points uh, CL156001 and point, oh, that's the only point, and curves CL156 prop, oh, prop 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 uh, goes into 15. So we need to erase those points. So take from chain to a point. Just click on the point and hit delete. Are you sure? Yes. Then you go to curve and delete all these. Hit delete. Yes. Uh, one thing to notice when you do that, it should give you a warning in red saying it's contains no elements and has been deleted. That's, that's what we want uh, since we're creating the chain anew. So we'll go back and, and now create the chain using store graphics. Make sure the job number is correct, the operator code, that's your initials, the chain, you get the name, and we're calling it centerline156. Uh, PR for proposed beginning point is CL beginning point is CL one five six zero zero one. Now you can't once you start putting numbers in, you can't put a letter and then another number. Uh, for example, if I put one fifty six PR. Uh, that's 156 PR 001. That would uh, it would come back with an error saying that's an invalid point name. Also, you can't use underscore or any other special characters. It'll come back as a uh, invalid point name. Once you got that, you set your stationing and you hit ID element. Click near the beginning accept the uh, selection and then you hit store it'll tell you that it's going to put these in job in your job number hit ok and that's it you've created the chain you actually don't need it may take a second to confirm that the chain was made you can go back to Kogo and Go back to Navigator, go to the chain, 156, and you can print or describe, and it'll print out what it, what it is again. And you'll notice this is where 
all the curve data is, uh, if you want to use that. Uh, you can't highlight for curve data. You can't highlight it. Well, maybe, I, maybe I'm wrong. I thought you couldn't highlight it and then copy it, but you can. You can copy it and then put it into a, um, a Word, a, a notebook file. Uh, I prefer Notebook++, plus plus, Notepad++, plus plus, uh, putting it in Word, it tries to put it in a format that doesn't work correctly, so uh, stay clear of that. But now we've got the chain, we want to describe it, we don't actually need this anymore, this is just a visual res representation, so you can delete this, uh, it is in Geopack now, uh, and it also looks like it's always there. And you can't click on it. It's a transient element um, until you close the storage. And then it disappears. Uh, to print or to visualize them now, you go, sorry, you go to Design and Computation Manager, open the file. It may not be in the one you want, so you go to the file that you're, your your project go to DDBs uh, and if it's been created for that project it'll have the project name in it go to alignment and you go draw plan and profile change this to chains uh, you can select some of these but we generally leave these off to and it will create, once you click this, it'll create the alignment. It'll put it in uh, it on its own level. Uh, it's a specific level. Uh, you notice that it's white here. That's probably because the overrides are turned on. Yeah, so go turn all the overrides off. Real sure why. Why it's not. Let's try that again. Oh, that's because uh, the symbology is not correct. I like to use orange for main lanes. It's uh, and then four is for center lines. That's always true. Uh, one or two at least uh, for the main line, center lines. Uh, but that just showed the alignment. You can you also want to show uh, the stationing. And if you do it at different um, scales, it'll print out different text sizes. Uh, forget which we have on this. That's how you get different text sizes, uh, and those will come in also on their own level. So you can turn off the 50 scale, or you can turn off the 100 scale, depending on what you need. Uh, I hope that helps. I think it might have. If not, you know, text me, call me, send me an email. I can uh, figure out what we can figure out what the next step is.